Hello, everybody. Why am I here? Come on. Okay. So for today's topic, I want to talk about design map. I talked today with my manager, uh, my friend, aka manager, and we figure out on what to do next. And yeah, I just want to share you what I came up with. By the, by the by the way, take a look at this one. So I use it as a key light for this video and it will be released soon I guess. So let's take a look at my design map that I am created with Figma. Because my craft goes a long way with a lot of visualization, it's easy for me to process information when I can see it. So I created this. And here I tried to count it. I do have like a hundred of designs that I um, made already. And it's not included any iterations, so it will be more than a hundred. And yep, every design that I had to upload on Sanx 3D gonna be revisited and publish it until until then you can just take a look at it like that so mm, here is me in the center i do have some notes for myself i separated my design for simple and complex for the complex as i finish it and upload it and it's like Techniques that I'd like to call advanced ways mod. It's require a little bit experience with 3D printing, but I'm gonna make a separate video about it. And on the left side, I do have simple, uh, simple stuff with a bunch of them, a bunch of unfinished that I don't have. I even don't have a renders for them. Bunch of new stuff that also in plans but i do also have some stl files and don't have any renders for them mm, yeah just if you are the artist like i am or kinda and struggling with organization for your design and design process these design maps are very helpful and just by Putting all on the table, you can, you already can see in which way to go to figure out whatever you want to figure out. What else? Uh, oh, then I saw the lamp falling off the table. What else? Uh, I'm working on a little ebook if I can. Call it like that about ways mode. Uh, let me show you. I design. I will design it in Canva, but I don't care. I'm not that good at design when it goes to the brochures and illustration. But yeah, it will called mastering phase mode. A quick guide to get you started. Basically, ChatGPT helped me a lot with it. And why can it complete the previous? stuff that it generated in case if it's failure to generate it i ask them generate the same text and it's always give me a new one that sucks yeah this will be a guide about how to print vase mode if you are new to vase mode with 0.4 nozzle and 0.8 nozzles as well and little setting intro for slicers like Prusa slicer, Cura slicer, Orca and of course Bamboo slicer. They're basically the same. That's all I wanted to share with you in this video. I think the next one will be a design ready models and I will print them to showcase what to expect on Thanks 3D and 
Yep. No, 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 no. Just not to make this video that short. Because I'm trying to record everything from first try. And that's something new to me. I'm very grateful for the warm comments on the previous video. It's really really that important for me and I was really surprised to saw your support. Thank you for that and really appreciate it. I just thought that I'm gonna upload this stupid video and it will gain maximum like 50 views and nobody will care. But you do care and it helped me and it motivate me to go on along with it and to make things clearer I'm not that lost I just make a title like it to make it a clickbait so basically I'm I'm doing fine just trying to figure out how to manage my designs better and looking more professional for being used more easily for consumer and for me to provide the best for you yeah, something like that and we are recording in 130, 140 shutter speed for some reason because I am with PMOD, but it's all camera related stuff that I'm not going to put on you here. Thank you for the views, I guess. See you later.